Uh, you're watching Breakfast Television this morning. Thank you so much for turning us on. How bad is it if I just pour a tiny bit of cooking oil down the drain? Is it okay to grind up my veggie waste in a garburetor? Jennifer Makar is here from the city of Calgary, clearing up confusion because, Jennifer, we've all had questions here in the BT family as opposed to, like, finding out what is okay to go down and what is not. You must get inundated with questions about this, right? We do. Lots of people want to know what they should and shouldn't put down their drains. Because we don't want to make your work more difficult than exactly. it needs to be. You know, yeah. we care. We care. So Jennifer was kind enough to bring in all kinds of props that they use uh, for the tours that come through. And I'm going to pull well, I'm going to pull and show off kind of examples here. The first one here uh, we were using going into commercial break. This is loaded with tape and toys and I think Halloween size candy bar wrappers and all kinds. Of, this, this is a no. That's a major no. This yeah. is garbage. So things like toy cars, um, junk that you don't want, don't flush it down the toilet. Just put it in the wastebasket. In the wastebasket. Yeah. Okay, that keeps it simple. Yeah. I'm going to pull another one here, and it is a bright yellow P, yeah. which I'm assuming is pretty self-explanatory. I think so. This, and it, this is an okay. Yep, yeah, that's perfectly okay. Perfectly, flush away. Perfectly acceptable. Yeah. Flush away. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, this one is a big question for me or yeah. anyone who has young kids because this is marketed as a flushable product. Yeah, it's a bit of a misnomer because they're called flushable wipes, but they shouldn't go down. Should not. They should okay. not go down the drain. They shouldn't go down your toilet. Now, why is that? Because they can clog your household plumbing. Okay. And then they also clog our pipes, mm -hmm. which is not a good thing. But to make matters worse, they combine with fat soils and greases oh. and make fat bergs. Fat bird. Yes, a fat bird. A fat bird. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to pull the oil yes, example here, and let's talk about these fat bergs because what if I cook bacon, whatever it happens to be that I fry, yep. can I rinse that down my sink? No. In short, no. you shouldn't do that because it's liquid when it's in the house, but then as soon as it makes its way down the drain, it hardens mm -hmm. and it forms layers and layers and blobs of fats, oils, and greases that clog your household pipes, as I said before, um, makes, it way, makes its way into the city infrastructure and clogs them and then forms big masses of fat and debris like flushable wipes and yeah. garbage. Mm -hmm. Fatbergs yeah. instead of icebergs. Exactly. Fla fatbergs. Yeah. Okay, I get it. I get it now. I'm getting this together. I'm going to pull up another obvious one sure. here. This, this blue water drop is H2O. Yeah. And we use this one to remind our tour participants that the cleaner the water and the higher quality it is coming into the treatment plant, mm -hmm. the better job we can do and the cleaner we can return it to the Bow River. To the Bow River, yeah. of course. Okay. Now, shampoo Jennifer wanted to talk about. Um, shampoo, of course, we all wash our hair. Yep. But why did you want to highlight this? Because it really is a good, better, best thing. Oh. Um, some of the substances in these household products are not um, easy to remove. and Sometimes it's not possible to remove them from the water. Okay. So we would prefer that people use biodegradable shampoos so that all the substances can be removed. Okay. Yeah. Biodegradable. Mm -hmm. That's okay. And now, this, answer, this is leading to my question about uh, garburetors. Yes. I have a garburetor in my house. Many people here in the BT family, we have garburetors. Is that a yes or a no? We would prefer that you put them in, uh, put veggie waste in your home composter okay. or in the trash, and mid year you'll have a green cart, so you'll be able to compost it. Okay, yeah. so don't grind them up and flush them down the drain. Please don't. And what about coffee grinds, you know, for making my coffee on the weekend type yep. thing? Same thing. Those can actually settle in your pipes as well, so it isn't good for you. Uh, it isn't good for the, for the city infrastructure. Just compost it or put it in the trash, and as I said, green carts are coming. Green carts are yeah. coming. Okay, now we're going to roll some uh, video here of the facility where everything ends up and uh, I'm just gonna pull the the um, well I'm just gonna pull the um, the, the brown kind of peg yeah. from the stack and this seems pretty obvious too yep that is pretty obvious pretty obvious yep. as, a, as an okay and a must yep, now th okay. this one it begs the question too um, uh, we all shower yep we all shed hair mm -hmm. obviously when we shower yep. um, but is this representing the hair that you pull out of a brush is that what it is yeah and okay. also the stuff that you might want to rinse down the shower as well uh, this ends up at the treatment plant and city staff have to remove it from the from the uh, the processes and okay. I've heard that as much as 15 pounds of hair sometimes have to be cleaned out at a time that's a lot of pounds. hair. pounds of hair yeah, oh, so we'd man. rather it just go in the trash. Yeah, that would yeah. be good. That would be good. Yeah. And last but not least, um, there are ways that we should be getting rid of our possibly expired medications mm -hmm. and that type of thing. And it's not flushing it down the toilet, No, is it? once again, please don't do that. Take yeah. it back to the pharmacy. Okay, take yep. it back to the pharmacy. Yep. And they'll and, dispose of it properly. And they have a proper way to do it. They do. do it properly. Yep, okay. they sure do. And now if any of this stuff ends up down at the treatment facility, um, how, like, it must add hours and hours worth of people effort 
to clean things up, right? Yeah, yeah, it does. That that's one of the things. But what we also want to do is make sure that we're good upstream neighbors because there are people who sure. want to use that water after it leaves our treatment plants. And as I said, uh, the better job we can do, the better quality of the water is when it leaves our plants. Okay, mm -hmm. great advice, Jennifer. And the City of Calgary's website, calgary.ca, has all kinds of information on what we've been talking about, right? Yes. Thank you so much for coming in. There you go, Andy. There you go. you got to watch what goes down the drain.